can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Hey, everybody. This is John Corcoran with Dr. Jeremy Wise, and this episode is a little bit different. This is a live interview that we recorded at the Global Leadership Conference from Entrepreneurs Organization, where some of the best entrepreneurs from around the globe gathered in Washington, D.C. to share ideas and to learn about entrepreneurship. And of course, this episode is brought to you by Rise25, where we help B2B businesses to give to and to connect to their Dream 100 relationships and partnerships helping you to run a podcast so that it generates a referral pipeline and ROI. Yeah, I mean, John, after both of us have been podcasting for over a decade, the number one thing in our life is relationships. And we're always looking at ways to give to our best relationships. And we found no better way to do that over the past decade than to profile the people and companies we admire and shout from the rooftops what they're working on. And this interview is no different. So if you've thought about podcasting, you should go to rise25.com to learn more or email us at support at rise25.com. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the interview. Enjoy. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live from the EO Global Leadership Summit and uh, brought to you by Rise25. I'm here with Sean. Sean, tell people about you and what your company does. Jeremy, thank you. I'm Sean McGinnis. I'm the president of CEO Coaching International. We're a global coaching business, 53 coaches. We coach across about 65 countries. Uh, we serve clients that are generating across all our client base $48 million worth of revenue. And our key value proposition is we really put been there, done that CEOs in front of and work with entrepreneurs as their accountability partner. And our claim to fame is that our clients who stay with us for two and a half years, on average, exceed their profit growth four times the US average on, on an EBITDA basis and two times revenue growth. We, we uh, do our studies every year and we keep inching up, which is fantastic. You were telling me that your coaches have a really impressive track record. Talk yeah. about the coaches. So our coaches have to have run a hundred million US dollar plus business. Many of them have been founders. Many of them have worked for Fortune 50s, Fortune 500s, but they've all run a P&L. They've all gone through the uh, the battles of running a successful business. Uh, they're extremely effective at what they do, and they've now decided instead of running a P&L, that they're going to take their experience and really help others achieve what they've done in their careers. We have a methodology, um, we have a process that they take the clients through, and essentially it's making sure that they um, accomplish the goals that they set out for themselves. Are there a certain size company uh, baseline that makes sense to reach out? We work with companies, typically if you've got a $5 million top line revenue business, you're a good fit with us. We have worked with smaller companies. An example of one would be Task Us, where we started with them 14 years ago. They had $6 million in annual revenue, were hardly making any money. Uh, now they're valued at $5.4 billion on NASDAQ, and we train about six of their executives, and that's been a phenomenal success story. And then there are multiples. We've had 49 exits over the last 12 years, uh, five over a billion dollars, 32 over uh, nine figures, and then the balance eight-figure exits. So it's a, it's a profoundly um, impactful thing that we do. Why do people call you? I could see there's a transition point. Do people call you also in like, we want to sell, or are they thinking we need to increase our profit? Why are the, what are the reasons why people are calling you? Typically, they're, they desire growth. You know, they may be stagnating on the EBITDA side. They may be struggling with sales, but they really feel they have something. 
and they aspire to build a company. And then for a founder CEO, they want to create they want to create generational wealth. But how do they do that? How do they step out of their business? So there is usually an inflection point, but most commonly it is, I really want to make big happen, which is the name of our um, Wall Street Journal bestseller. Um, take a look at it. Um, but they really want to have an impact. They want to grow and they want to take some chips off the table. So it could be scale, could be growth, um, mainly growth. How does the format work? So someone's like, I want to work with you. Where do they go from there? So the, the, the first thing we do is we do a matching process. And it's a little scientific because we need to understand exactly what the goals are that the prospective um, person that wants to be coached has. We drill down on that. And then through our cadre of coaches, we do a matching process. We do some assessment work. We get the client to fill out what we call a crystal ball exercise to really identify. And then we match based on the skills of the coaches to the requirement of the business, put them together, and then they work with each other on a monthly basis, typically four hours a month, quarterly planning sessions, annual planning sessions. And we end up being the coach of the business in most instances. So it starts with the CEO typically, one-on-one. -on -one, and then when the impact starts to happen, we cascade that down through the C-suite. You have some amazing coaches, and I happen to know uh, Lou Jaffe personally, who, and if you multiply that by all the other coaches, it's, it's amazing. He's an innovator. He's like started some of the first stuff in video. Now this yes. stuff is normal, but yes. he's one of those people. He's like kind of the godfather of this stuff. He is. You know, we've been, we've been blessed. As I say, it's not every CEO that's been successful that can transition into being a coach. You have to have outstanding self-awareness. You have to have, have kept your hand in the game. So most of our coaches are coaching between 15. Some are coaching in excess of 25, 30 clients. So they're in the game every day. They're learning constantly. So we, we call it a learn it all mentality. Um, and they have to want to make an impact. And these coaches, I mean, we are really blessed. We have an outstanding group and we, we're growing all the time. So for those of you that have had a successful exit and who want to still have your hand in the game and impact just more than one company and you meet our criteria we'd love to meet you too tell us about the book so the book uh, written by mark moses and uh, four of our other uh, coach uh, coaches um, it's stories about uh, some of the successes that we've had, the trials and tribulations, because it's not just the good news, it's how you got through some tough times, uh, filled with tools and techniques. We're a methodology, we're not, we're a framework, I beg your pardon, not a methodology, so we embrace EOS, we embrace scaling up, OKRs, KPIs, but it's how we put all those together in service of our clients that makes it effective. So where can people check out the book and, and what's your website? So ceocoaching.com and there's a link to the book there and you can get it on Amazon. It's called Making Big Happen. Making Big Happen. Straight from GLC. Thank you. Thanks. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand.